you guys welcome back to my channel so today you guys we're gonna do a sushi mukbang yes a sushi mukbang let's get into it, you guys this is an eating show um thought i'd do something different than reaction so let's start mukbangs on this channel Ooh. okay so i did a um, wendy's mukbang before i think or was it mcdonald's i think it was mcdonald's and then on my other channel i did um a lobster so let me know how you guys feel about the mukbangs i'll do more we're going to get into some story time, fun facts, and all that, you guys. We got the Minute Maid, uh, the strawberry lemonade. So I'm going to pour me some good stuff of this. And the kids' icy cup, as you guys can see. I am a mom, so. <laughs> Come in clutch, okay? Comes in clutch. Here, it has five different types of sushi, you guys. Um, I want you guys to see that. Like, it has, one has, like, yellow glaze, red glaze. Um, this one looks like caramel. Obviously, it's probably not caramel. Um, let's see. It doesn't even say on here. Water, sugar, grain, vinegar, salt, rice. Um, I don't think it says on here. It should say on here, shouldn't it? No, but it just says mini platter. Oh, well, that sucks. That doesn't... Okay, you guys, so we're going to get into it. Now, I am not really good with the chopsticks, so you guys have to bear with me. The first one we are going to try. Ooh. It has crunch in it. It has crunch with um, some type of flaky stuff. Okay, we're not getting that one. Let's try this one because I want you guys to see it. So I guess I got to do it the right way, huh? That would make it fun to be down in the comments, y'all. Because I know some of y'all. <gasps> Why is it breaking so easily? Please don't be ugly. Oh my gosh. Well, I have to lift this to let you guys see. You guys see that? That is, looks so, so good. Oh my gosh. I don't feel like this light is doing justice. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. This is real good. I wish I knew the flavors, I would tell you guys. But if you guys know the flavors of any of these, let me know down in the comments. It has like oranges brown seasoning on it or sauce type with like maybe frosted flake crunches. I don't know. Obviously, it's probably not frosted flake crunches, but it looks like it. Okay, you guys. So for the people that's here, that's new. My name is India. I am 26 years old, you guys. My birthday is next month on the 14th, you guys. I'll be 27. The sushi does not want to act right. Like, it is breaking apart, apart. Let's see if we can save it. Um, I am a mother. I have like three or four or five. Three. <laughs> I don't know why I said five. I have like three or four YouTube channels, you guys run where I do just do all types of genres and then this one you guys where you know I do rap and world star and vines and tiktok reactions and all that um oh I hate messy food I'm so mad this one's act like this mm, it's so good though it's so good it's so good um okay so let's try this one let's see if we can pick it up because I heard my food is ugly Now this one has like like a white sauce to it. I'm picking it up because this is working my nose. This has like a orange, orange and ooh, can't eat that. Orange and white sauce on it, you guys. So that's pretty good too. I gotta get my nails done. My, my nails looking ratchet right now. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Okay, guys. So I'm gonna tell you a story time about when you're eighth grade. How old are you? Fourteen or fifteen? Bitch, are you dumb, 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 stupid? And sixth grade, you like 12. So 7, 13, 14. Mm -hmm. It'd be like 13, 14. I feel like my lashes just came off. What the hell just happened? I'm doing till I'm done, y'all. I'm sorry for my lashes fall. Oh my god. <laughs> this is real trifling right now. Okay, you guys, so when I was like 15, I'm going to say 14, because I was like 15 in like ninth grade. This is freaking bothering me. 
we have to ask him for a second. I was 14, you guys. Um, it was this boy. We was in like seventh grade, you guys. I was in like seventh grade. I was in like, no, I think eighth grade, you guys. I think I was in eighth grade, so that would make me like 14. And this boy, like, he used to come to school, and um, he was like a bad kid. Like, he always got in trouble and stuff, and um, he used to come to school with a baggie full of candy, and he used to sell it. And um, it used to be like 15 cents, 50 cents, 75 cents, you know, to a dollar each. And um, he did it for a few months. And I was like, ew, I want to do that. But, I, you know, I don't want to be a copycat. I want to be a jacker. So one day, you guys, he went to JDC. He got in trouble. Or he just quit coming to school. I really think he got to, went to JDC because he was a badass. He still is a badass right now. He 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 want it. <laughs> he want it, y'all. He want it. He a dope boy. He want it. My town is little, so you know everything in this little town. Okay, you guys, I can't use this, so sorry, I'm playing with my food. Okay, you guys. So he just quit coming to school. My smart ass, I'm like, ooh, I'm gonna take his place, okay? Ain't no need to be losing money, baby, okay? Let that let that money come in my pocket. So So we end up, um, so I ended up going to the store. My mom, she used to buy candy for me. It was a school store called GFS or GFC, something like that. And it's like a Sam's Club where you can buy like big packages and stuff. And so I bought big packages of candy, you guys. So I'm trying to red kind now. And this is what it looks like. It's probably going to be hot. It looks like it's hot. It looks like it's hot. Like it has the red sauce on it. Mmm. Mm, mm mm. What is that? Tomato? 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 Nada? I ain't feeling this one, y'all. This got nasty. Mmm. I'm not gonna spit this out. It is tingly. It's tingly as hell. My throat is on fire. Mm mm. So we ended up going to the store, you guys. Um, my mom knew what I was doing, you guys. So I brought like maybe 20 pieces the first day. I'm like, okay, let's see how it goes. Mmm. This is life. This is life. Okay. So I don't know how I feel about that, but I like these two. Um, so this one looks like glaze two. Like why is glaze that's the third one you guys so um back to the story you guys i start selling candy you guys um i took 20 piece the first day and boom it hit you guys it was like <laughs> i was making money you guys i think i make 60 dollars each day you guys um it came to the point where I had to recruit my best friend, y'all. You know, you know you bacon when you got to recruit. Ooh, I picked it up, you guys. When you got to recruit your best friend, okay? Because just me wasn't enough, okay, you guys? We had the same classes, but like four, three of our classes was different. So therefore, you know, she had different customers than me. So, you know, everybody couldn't get to me at once. So, you know, I had to start recruiting. Um, This looks so good, you guys. I want you guys to get the full fucking effect. I get my camera next tomorrow, you guys. So it's gonna be exclusive, exclusive content. Mm. Do I like this one? Mm. Um. Exclusive content, you guys. I'm gonna start doing McBang. I'm gonna start doing vlogs. I got my kids' channel that needs to be boosted, you guys. So, we are on the way. Trying to get this YouTube world popping. Okay, guys. So, I started recruiting my friend or whatever. And she starts selling it, you guys. So, you know, she wouldn't ask for money. But, you know, her mom would, like, take her phone for, like, doing something that she wasn't supposed to be doing. So, therefore, you know, I would, like, buy her a new phone or buy her some minutes because her mom wouldn't buy her minutes. Stuff like that. Which I didn't care to give her half and half, but she never asked for it, you know. I just took, basically took care of my nigga um, while she was helping me. Because I bought the candy and all that, but still. 
I'm a fair person, you know. It is what it is. If you want nigga, you want nigga. If I got a dollar, you got a dollar, period. So, um, I kept minutes on her phone. I kept her with a phone or whatever. And people start snitching. Not even people start snitching, y'all. The, the teachers, y'all. The teachers, they wasn't having They like India. India over here selling. They selling, selling that sugar. Selling that sugar. <laughs> um... It was so funny. So I started getting in trouble, you guys. Um, it lasts for like two months. And then... I kept getting called down to the principal's office, you guys. And he was so cute. I don't know about y'all. If y'all had like a crush on a teacher or a principal, but my principal was dope as hell, y'all. I mean, dope. He was so damn fine. And he was older. I like me some older than so, any of y'all, yeah, it was one of those. I had to go to the prince's office. He sat down, and he was like, India, I heard you are selling candy. You need to stop selling candy. If you don't stop selling candy, I'm going to call your mom. You know me on the dollar. I don't know. My fact, I was a badass, you guys. I'm not even going to lie. Ooh, look at me picking up this like I would dream. I was a badass, you guys. Um, I would be like your breast smell or something like that. You know, just being defiant, being a kid. Uh, but I really liked him. I had a crush on him. <laughs> so I don't know why I was being mean to his little cute ass. Well, his big cute ass. Y'all, when I say he was cute, he was cute. Mm. Okay, you guys, so we got some sauce that's all up in the mix. Um, this is AFC French. Oh, franchise. That's a franchise. Juicy soy sauce is what this is. I love this on my, um, wait, let's see if I can pick it up and put it in there. Okay. Oh, I love soy sauce, you guys, on my sushi. Let me know down in the comments what kind of sushi you guys eat, um, what type of other stuff you guys eat with it, because I was going to eat stuff with it, but I was like, what do I eat? I don't want to eat, like, octopus and stuff like that, because I'm not that brave yet, y'all. When we get, like, a million or 500,000, then, you know, I might do some octopus, but I have not eaten no octopus yet, y'all. Kind of scared, um kind of don't want to but if it happens it happens um but yeah you guys so he was like i'm gonna call your mom next time blase blase i was like all right bet so <laughs> you know me me being a kid me being a rebel i came back with some more so y'all every week i made like six dollars a day y'all do the math 60 120 blase 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 I was making like 400 every week, 300, whatever. I had like me a little ass job and I wasn't even employed. I wasn't even employed. I ain't had to do no interviews, no nothing, y'all. I was like, yeah. Because my mom, she had four kids, so we were struggling. My damn self, she was in nursing school and all that. So, we were struggling. I couldn't get what I want, so I had to make my own money. But I did it a good way. I wasn't, you know, out here popping coochie or, you know, doing all that extra shit. I was out here selling candy to the youngest, my friends, my classmates. They didn't want me to be great. That's what that was. They didn't want me to be great. I know now. They didn't want me to be great. Yeah, y'all. He called me back in the office. He called my mom. My mom sat down like, I told India not to do this. Um... I don't know how she keep getting... You know how, girl, half a... You know how... I got it from you! Motherfucker, probably with the food stamp card and all! It's like, nah, sometimes I had to do it with my money. I had to re-up with my money. <laughs> I'm weak. So I'm making it sound like drugs. It's fucking candy, y'all. We was lit off some sugar, making money off some sugar. Hey, but that was the days, though, y'all. Them kid days, man. I wish I would go back to school, you know. And just do it all over, man. I would be so much smarter. I wouldn't skip at all. Because when I got in high school, y'all, the damn first day. I wouldn't even say the first day. The first week. Because I had to know where I was going. So the first week, me and my friends said, nah, this ain't for us. This ain't for fucking us. It was like too many kids. It was a big-ass building. Way different than when we was in eighth grade. It was my best friend from when we was in eighth grade. And she helped me send candy and all that, man. And uh, if y'all see my other story times, me and her ain't friends no more, man. Fuck that bitch. She always counted me out instead of counting me in. I had to count myself in and let that bitch go. You know what I mean? You can only you can only put up with so much disloyal shit, man. 
people will fucking walk over you and walk over you until you put a stop to that shit. It's just crazy, like. So when I got in ninth grade, y'all, first week, y'all, I knew the classes. I knew where I was going. First period was uh, math, I do believe. My last period was history. My best friend's last period was history, I do believe. Yeah. So we skipped. The first day, y'all, I mean, first week, we skipped, y'all. So we ain't know what to do. We just like, we ain't going to class. We gonna hide. It was a big ass building, so we gonna hide. So we found different places or whatever. We was down the um, basement or whatever with a wood chip classes at or whatever. And so we was down there. We was down the workout room. You know, we caught some other kids skipping. You know, we was chilling with them, talking with them. You know, we thought it was a motherfucking party. They're at school. You know, we was tripping. We was tripping. I wish my kids would. I wish my kids But y'all, yeah, we got caught, y'all. Me and her ended up going upstairs. And we go upstairs this way. The main entrance going upstairs. And here comes... Mr. Reedy, one of the uh, one of the principals, it was like three or four principals, one of the principals and the security officer. So they seen us, we see them, eyes like this, like we don't see that fucking ghost. We was like, oh shit, what what are we gonna do? What are we going to do? So y'all, we end up <laughs> we end up running in the bathroom. She like, we cannot be in the bathroom because all they gonna do is go get a um teacher, a girl teacher, and they gonna come get us. So no matter what, we gonna get caught in the bathroom. So, she ended up talking to me going out the bathroom, y'all. So, we go out the bathroom. Literally. Like I said, main entrance, main entrance, bathroom's right here. They coming up the steps right here. So, by the time we coming out the bathroom, which is right here, they probably like right here. So, we start running. We start trying to juke them, y'all. The security officer and the principal. The principal failed. The security officer stumbled. We dipped, y'all. We did, we did, we did. Now, of course, you know, we got caught. <laughs> of course y'all we got caught we got caught but damn damn bitch they want us to they, they won't leave us alone y'all they want us to leave us alone they want us to learn <laughs> they were just doing their job we were just being dumb ass kids that shit funny though once you look like just just think about all this shit you did when you was little man now you got kids and you just like man I hope they don't do the shit I did like that shit be crazy that's just funny though, man. But yeah, if I go back, I would do, I would do high school all over, y'all, and I would stay in school. <laughs> I would stay in school and all that. Now I did graduate, but I had to go to a, like a school like um, where you go half the day. It is it was called um life skills. Now it's called like Marshall High or something like that. I do believe they have it in different states and all that, you guys. So I do have my high school diploma now, but it's nothing like walking down the aisle with your niggas and your friends. You know what I mean? And this does not want me to be great, so. It is crazy. And then, motherfuckers, you thought you was going to be friends with forever, ever. They could be your friends. Because motherfuckers don't know how to stay real. It's different when you cut from a different cloth, you feel me? It's okay to be alone. It just makes you stronger. It just makes you stronger. For real. For real. Okay, be with somebody that's always counting you out, man. Count yourself in. Especially if you love that person and you thought that person was rocking with you the way you rock with them. And obviously, you, they not rocking with you the way you rock with them. So you out here looking stupid. Uh, people walk all over you and all that. And I, I like my lesson. Peace. Hoochie. So, yeah, this sushi pretty good, y'all. I don't like this one. I think it's like tomato or something, so I really don't like that one, y'all. The other ones I like. We not gonna eat the red ones. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. We not gonna eat the red ones. We gonna eat all the other ones, though. At least we gonna try, because I'm gonna that. But, um, yeah, this, this shit does not want me to be great. Look how that be. I love white rice, you guys. I love, love white rice. I can eat white rice and chicken all damn day. Now, this is wild fish, you guys, but it's so damn good. Mmm, it's so damn good. My daughter likes sushi, too. Some days. I guess she could be iffy. 
but ain't all kids. All kids can be iffy. It was just raining. Now the sun's out. Like, the weather is crazy. It's like freaking 80 degrees outside. We are almost at 5K, y'all. Yeah, run that shit up. Run that shit the fuck up, y'all. So, y'all, um, yeah, from ninth grade, um, I went to, uh, try to go to Butler Tech, and I somewhere where you can get, like, a degree while you're in high school. And, um, I ended up quitting that because, you know, I was just, I don't know, I was just so outcast from people, and, uh, being in school just made me, being in school just made me feel some type of way, so I ended up being homeschooled, y'all. And I really regret it because I didn't socialize the way I needed to. Um, I ain't fucked up or nothing, but, you know, it just don't make me like to be around a lot of people at once. You feel me? Uh -oh. That shit bother me sometimes, you know what I mean? Because, hey, I'm trying to make big moves out here, and I can't do that if I can't socialize, right? You feel me? Or don't like to be around a lot of people. It's not that. It's just like if the place is like real crowded it's just like uh this is irking me like you know what i mean i don't know i just get like a little attitude like man i can't be here right now so i end up getting a homeschool job About when I was 17, I ended up pregnant with my first daughter named Serenity. And, um, a bit was like, nah, I ain't showing my baby this. My baby got to see me get my diploma. And when she asked if I graduated, I want to say, be able to say, yeah, baby. And I did it for you. This is how much we got done, y'all. We ain't even got hard enough shit done. And it's breaking apart, so it made it a little. But, yeah, um. Yeah, I should have bought a spoon for all this shit. Bring it down. So I went up going to life skills, get my diploma, y'all. All that, you know, good shit you want your kids to see and, you know, look up to you and all that. So I felt that. Um... End up going to college for two years, y'all. I don't know if I want to go back or not, but right now it's just like, school ain't for me. I'm going to be honest with you, school ain't never been for me. <laughs> school ain't never been for me, nigga. Catch you on the block slacking, I'm going to take your books, nigga. But I don't know how to read, so I don't know why I'll take your books, nigga. Say, no, I know how to read. I ain't that too fit. But I like school, y'all. I don't like school. I don't like school. I don't like school. I was going to be a therapist, so if I do go back, I am going to go be a therapist, you guys. I want to be, um, learn with troubled kids and, you know, kids, people that really need me. You know how I many kids that really need somebody to talk to and just to listen to them, man, and let them know that I love you. Somebody loves you, you know what I mean? Because there's kids out there, you know, that grow up that don't have to love they need. See, people that's based off love and people that's based off survival. Y'all not gonna think alike. You don't have the struggles that somebody has when they have when they're based off their life is based off survival, not love. You feel me? I was raised off love. I wish I was. I wish I was. But, you are handed the life you live, and it's your choice if you want to change it. You know what I mean? You ain't asked for this life. Your mama and daddy asked for this life. She wanted to open her legs. Eagle wide open. Eagle wings wide open. Daddy said, yeah, boy, yeah. And I mean, I'm, I guess I'm the nut that made it. Motherfuck. Guess I'm the nut that fucking made it. It's all good, though, because I'll make the best of this shit. Life is draining. Life can be draining, man. I deal with depression, all that shit. Like, 
and I be trying to overcome that shit, and it's just like, man, there's too much stress. And to live in this world, man, basically to live in this world, to live nice, you gotta have money. You gotta have a grind, you gotta have a hustle, and it's never too late. It's never, ever too late. Make sure you get on your grind. Make sure you get on your grind. Now, if you like a buck twenty, hundred and twenty, that don't know what the fuck you been doing. You, it's too late for you, bro. <laughs> but nah, for real, y'all, man, stay on that grind, stay consistent, clock, clock in, clocking them hours. Do it for you, do it for your kids, do it to travel, you know, do it to see the world. It's bigger dreams than where you at, you know what I mean? It's bigger places than where you at. And that's real shit. And I didn't even have this mentality and this mindset until like two years ago. Two years ago, y'all, I was alone. It was just me and my kids. Sometimes I they father. Me, me and him ain't always on good terms, you know what I mean? So at the end of the day, I got myself, you feel me? It ain't it, it ain't all that what it seems, you know what I mean? But it's you to make yourself strong, you know what I mean? Stay confident, stay insecure, stay on your ground, stay focused, stay motivated. Oh my gosh, it ain't even doing man. <laughs> stay consistent with yourself, man. And your mental health. You gotta have that shit right. You gotta have that shit right. You gotta take care of yourself. So, y'all, when I was 15, when I was 14, 15, I was banking, y'all. I was banking. I was banking. Now, I ain't proud. I ain't proud of everything I did in my life. Cause I didn't do some fucked up shit, y'all. I'm sure we all had to do some fucked up shit. Alright, I'm gonna tell y'all a secret, y'all. Now, y'all can't judge me because I changed. Y'all can't judge me because I was changed. So, I was in ninth grade, y'all. 16. 16, 17. And I made a website, you know what I mean? I made a website. It was long with it. It was long. It was um, called Urban Chat. It was called Urban Chat, like a thirsty website. If y'all on there, y'all thirsty. <laughs> But yeah, y'all, I was on this website, y'all, uh, it would just be pictures of me, you know, my face and stuff, and people would just be hitting me up, like, hey, what's up, ma, whatever, blase, blase, shoot me a text, blase, blase, you know, we start texting, whatever, they was like, I want, I want you to come see me, or such and such, and I'd be like, my wires, my wires messed up on my car, bitch, I don't even think I was driving then, I was driving, but I ain't have no car, I don't even think I had a car, because my cars broke down, I had three cars by the time I was 17, y'all. And now I ain't got I ain't got no fucking car right now. I ain't got no fucking car. I ain't got no fucking car. You heard that? I ain't got no fucking car. Oh! See the grind. The grind went backwards once I had kids, man. Because kids cost, man. They cost, they cost, they cost. It's crazy. It's crazy. But yeah, I'll be like, yeah. Uh Western Union me fifty dollars. They be like, I bet. To the point it got to where I didn't even have to lie. You know what I mean? I didn't even have to lie. It was a uh, motherfucker saying, hey, you so dope. I want to send you some money. I was like, bet. Fucking bet. You, you ain't got to tell. You ain't got to tell me twice. So let me calm down because I ain't like that no more. I ain't like that no more. I promise y'all. That was my ratchet younger days. So yeah, y'all. When I was doing that, I made $1,000. $1,000 a week, y'all. I was banking, banking. But karma gonna, I, I believe karma gonna come to me one day. But I'm a changed person, man. I'm a changed person. If you ever see money, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, though. I'm sorry. Because I really ain't like that, y'all, man. I really ain't like that. I'm nice, I'm humble, I'm cool. But like I said, you, you choose a person you want to be in life. Honestly. You choose the person you want to be. Ah, uh, I think I'm getting full, y'all. Woo! Yeah, we done have some times, y'all. I ain't even tell y'all. Did I ain't even tell y'all the time I ran over a fucking side bitch? <laughs> y'all! I ran over the side bitch, y'all. That, that's for another story time, y'all. That's for another story time, man. I ain't even gonna feel like I'm about to finish this sushi. I'm gonna try. This thing don't want me to be great. Mm. 
But yeah, I do believe you live and you learn. You can change your way. You can change your mentality. You can change your environment. You can change the way you learn. You can change the way you live. You can change your whole mindset, everything about you. You just got to be willing to do that and mature. I used to be so childish, y'all. Anything would make me so mad or so sad, like, I would have to react. Now I'm at the point where you could throw anything at me and I'm not reacting at all. And it took forever to get here, y'all. Forever to get here. Forever. I'm proud of myself, y'all. I went to jail, man. I had to go to angle therapy. Like, that's for another story time, though. That's for another story time. I'm about to let y'all go, though. Um, maybe next time we'll smoke a blunt in it and I might be, you know, a little bit more hungry. But my stomach little, y'all. I mean, I'm pressing, y'all. So, my stomach... My stomach only takes so much, y'all. My stomach is little. So, um... Yeah. I don't know why I be trying to do this. I guess to make the thumb, you know, look good. Look good. I know when I first started YouTube, you guys, I was so insecure, you know, about my teeth, about, you know, everything about me. But it's like, man, I can only be one person, and that's me, and that's India. You can only be one person to be the best you you could be. Uh, it's always going to be somebody talking about you. Somebody not going to like you. Somebody not going to like you. Somebody going to think you ugly. Somebody going to think you stupid. Somebody not going to like the type of music you rock with. Some people going to... Some people going to like everything about you just because, you know, that's them. You feel me? But you can only be yourself, man. You can only be yourself. I tried, y'all. I fucking tried. Shit. Where did my phone go? So let me know how y'all feel. Let me know what other food items you guys want me to do. Um, and I'll do them if you guys like mukbangs. I will start doing mukbangs on this channel. I do want to do something more than music reactions. But I know that's how you build a fan base up real quick. So I'm on it. Make sure you guys put your request down below. You guys want me to do a music too. And I'll get to them. Um, so yeah. All the sushi was good besides this red kind. This red kind was trifling. Ooh. This red kind was trifling. I don't know if that's tomato, tomato. Tanata. This had the, like little clear kind, and they all got like little crunchy flakes on them. Every single one of them. It's with white rice, with vegetables in the middle, y'all. Oh, I can plug a dude. I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah, it's your favorite home girl, and we how let go.